When it comes to innovative running shoe brands that have disrupted the market in recent years, Hoka and Anon Cloud are two names that immediately come to mind. Both companies have gained devoted followings for their unique approaches to shoe design and performance. Hoka is known for its maximalist cushioning and oversized midsoles, while on cloud has made waves with its distinctive cloud tech sole technology. For runners and casual wearers alike, choosing between these two trend-setting brands can be a tough decision. Each offers compelling features and benefits, but they differ significantly in their design philosophies and target audiences. Whether you're looking for plush comfort for long runs or a responsive ride for speed work, understanding the key differences between Hoka and on cloud can help you find your perfect match. In this in-depth comparison, we'll examine how Hoka and on cloud stack up across several important factors including cushioning, stability, fit, durability, breathability, and more. By breaking down the strengths and weaknesses of each brand, we aim to give you a comprehensive look at how these two running shoe innovators compare. Let's lace up and dive in. Cushioning When it comes to cushioning, Hoka and OnCloud take very different approaches. Hoka is renowned for its maximal cushioning, featuring thick midsoles with soft, lightweight foams. The brand's signature oversized midsoles provide plush comfort and impact absorption, especially beneficial for long-distance runs or runners seeking joint protection. Hoka shoes often feel cloud-like underfoot, with a pillowy sensation that many runners love for easy miles and recovery runs. On Cloud utilizes its proprietary CloudTech technology, which features hollow cloud of pods on the outsole that compress upon impact. This design aims to provide cushioning exactly where and when it's needed during the gait cycle. On Cloud shoes tend to offer a firmer, more responsive feel compared to Hoka's ultra-soft cushioning. The CloudTech pods are designed to provide a mix of soft landings and firm, propulsive toe-offs. Hoka offers more overall cushioning volume and a softer, more pillowy feel. On Cloud provides a unique cushioning experience that's more targeted and responsive. Runners who want maximum shock absorption and don't mind a softer, less the ground feel a sensation may prefer Hoka. Those seeking a balance of cushioning and responsiveness might lean towards On Cloud. Stability. Despite their high-stack designs, many Hoka shoes offer good stability through wide base platforms and strategic midsole geometries. Models like the Arahi and Gaviota provide guidance for overpronators without traditional posting. Hoka's Metarocker technology also promotes a smooth heel-to-toe transition, enhancing stability through the gait cycle. On Cloud shoes generally provide a neutral platform, though some models offer mild stability features. The CloudTech pods can enhance ground contact and provide a stable base. On Speedboard technology, a stiff plate embedded in the midsole also contributes to stability and smooth transitions. Hoka tends to offer more options for runners needing pronation control, while on Cloud focuses more on neutral designs. Hoka's wider platforms can feel more inherently stable, especially for runners used to more traditional shoe geometries. On Cloud's pod design may provide a unique sense of ground connection that some runners find stabilizing. Shoe Fit Hoka shoes often feature a roomy toe box and a secure midfoot fit. The brand offers a range of widths in many models. Some runners find Hoka shoes to run slightly large, often recommending sizing down a half size. The plush cushioning can sometimes make the fit feel less precise for some wearers. On shoes typically offer a snug, performance-oriented fit through the midfoot and heel, with a moderately roomy toe box. The brand's shoes often run true to size or slightly small. On Cloud is known for a eye locked in feel that many runners appreciate for faster-paced runs. Hoka tends to offer a more accommodating fit, especially in the forefoot, which can be beneficial for runners with wider feet or those who prefer more toe splay. On cloud shoes often provide a more precise, race-ready fit that some runners find more suitable for up-tempo efforts. Fit preferences are highly individual, so trying on both brands is ideal. Durability Hoka shoes generally offer good durability, especially considering their soft cushioning. The brand uses high-quality foams and reinforced rubber in high-wear areas. However, the exposed foam on some models can wear more quickly on abrasive surfaces. On Cloud shoes feature durable rubber pods on the outsole, which tend to hold up well over time. 
The upper materials are typically sturdy and well-constructed. Some runners report that the spaces between the cloud pods can occasionally collect small rocks or debris. Both brands offer respectable durability for their respective designs. Hoka's softer foams may compress more over time, especially for heavier runners, while on clouds firmer construction might maintain its responsiveness longer. The durability of specific models can vary, so it's worth researching individual shoe reviews. Breathability Hoka utilizes engineered mesh uppers in most models, providing good ventilation. Some of their more cushioned shoes can feel warm on hot days due to the substantial midsole volume. However, many Hoka models offer excellent breathability for their level of cushioning. On shoes are known for their lightweight, breathable uppers. The brand uses thin, engineered mesh materials that promote airflow. Many on cloud models excel in breathability, making them popular choices for warm weather running. While both brands offer breathable options, on cloud shoes generally have an edge in this category due to their minimalist upper designs. Hoka shoes, with their more substantial cushioning, may retain slightly more heat. However, both brands have models that perform well in terms of ventilation. Weight Despite their chunky appearance, many Hoka shoes are surprisingly lightweight for their cushioning level. The brand uses lightweight foams to keep the overall weight down. However, their max cushioned models are generally heavier than minimalist options. On shoes are typically very lightweight, with many models weighing in at under 9 ounces for a men's size 9. The Cloud Tech pods and minimal upper designs contribute to their feather light feel. On cloud shoes are generally lighter than comparable Hoka models, especially when comparing shoes with similar intended uses. However, Hoka has made strides in reducing weight in recent years, and the weight difference may be negligible for many runners. Versatility Hoka offers a wide range of shoes for different purposes, from max cushion trainers to lightweight racers. Many Hoka models are versatile enough to handle both long, slow runs and faster-paced workouts. The brand has also expanded into trail running with several popular models. On provides a variety of shoes for different running styles, though their lineup is generally more focused on road running. Many on cloud shoes are designed to transition seamlessly from running to casual wear, making them popular for all-day use. Hoka may have a slight edge in versatility across different running surfaces and distances due to their wider range of specialized models. On Cloud excels in creating shoes that blend performance features with lifestyle aesthetics, making them more versatile for casual wear. Price point Hoka shoes typically fall in the premium price range, with most models retailing between $130 to $180. The brand's use of high-tech materials and cushioning technologies contributes to the higher price point. On shoes are also positioned in the premium market, with prices generally ranging from $130 to $200. The brand's innovative technologies and Swiss engineering are reflected in the pricing. Both brands occupy similar price points, targeting the premium running shoe market. On cloud shoes are often slightly more expensive than comparable Hoka models, but the difference is usually not significant. Innovation and Technology Hoka's key innovations include their MetaRocker geometry, oversized midsoles, and active foot frame design. The brand continues to refine its cushioning technologies and experiment with new foam compounds. On standout technology is its CloudTech cushioning system, along with the speedboard for energy return. The brand focuses on creating a unique running experience through its pod-based cushioning design. Both brands are at the forefront of running shoe innovation, but they approach it from different angles. Hoka focuses on maximizing cushioning while maintaining responsiveness, while on emphasizes a more minimalist design with targeted cushioning and energy return. So, which one is better? Choosing between Hoka and OnCloud ultimately comes down to personal preferences and running style. Hoka excels in providing maximum cushioning and comfort, making their shoes ideal for long-distance runners, those seeking joint protection, or runners who simply enjoy a plush, soft ride. The brand's wide range of models also caters to various needs, from stability to trail running. On Cloud, on the other hand, offers a unique running experience with its Cloud Tech technology, providing a balance of cushioning and responsiveness. 
Their shoes tend to be lighter and more streamlined, appealing to runners who prefer a firmer, more connected feel with the ground. On stylish designs also make their shoes popular for casual wear. Both brands have their strengths and loyal followings. Hoka might be the better choice for runners prioritizing maximum cushioning, versatility across different terrains, or those needing stability features. On Cloud could be preferable for runners seeking a lightweight, responsive shoe with a sleek aesthetic that transitions well from running to everyday wear. Ultimately, the best way to decide is to try on shoes from both brands and see which feels better for your feet and running style. Consider factors like the types of runs you do most often, any specific foot issues or preferences you have, and whether you plan to use the shoes exclusively for running or as all-day wear. Both Hoka and OnCloud have made significant impacts on the running shoe market with their innovative approaches, and both continue to push the boundaries of shoe design. Whichever brand you choose, you're likely to experience a shoe that's a far cry from traditional running footwear, and that might just revolutionize your running experience.